What the heck? We bought the jaws of life. You know, those big hydraulic scissors that firefighters use to cut open cars and save people's lives. Well, it turns out you don't have to be a firefighter to get your hands on some. All you need is your dad's credit card and an eBay account. But what really makes these the number one tool for saving lives? Well, today we're gonna compare the jaws of life to other methods of cutting into a car and figure out why firefighters rely on this heavy, specialized piece of equipment. Welcome to Donut. Thank you to Keeps for sponsoring today's video. Hair loss has been eradicated on Earth, but in a universe where two out of three guys experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35, we're on a mission to tackle universal hair loss. Surrender, Captain Maine. Your mission to tackle universal hair loss is over. Fire the cannons! A starship follicle surrenders to nobody, especially to hairless cat pirates. Doc Mop, hit him with the keeps. Hit him with keeps? That's crazier than a water bug on a crocodile's back. I don't know what that means, Hawk, but here we go. It worked! Of course it did. Keeps offers clinically proven, research-backed treatments to stop hair loss, and it shipped right to your door. Great work, team. That could have been a real catastrophe. <laughs> Start your hair loss prevention today by going to keeps.com slash donut media or by clicking on the link in the description to receive 50% off your first order. Inside this big box right here is our brand new Jaws of Life that we bought online. We're going to crack it open and see what the heck we just bought. Dang! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> no wonder firemen are so buff. Yeah. <laughs> Watch it, the hydraulic fluid on your shirt. Oh, mother. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's the pin shirt. These are the real jaws right here, oh. baby. This is way lighter. Is it? Yeah. These are coming in the uh, next uh, Doom Eternal DLC. Rothko. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut some stuff in half. Save some lives. Gentlemen. All right, so let's talk about what we just bought. There are three main components to the Jaws of Life. This is the cutter, used to cut hinges, pillars, and bolts. This is the spreader. It's used to separate metal to get to those hard to access places of the car. And this is the ram. It's used to push a collapsed dash off the injured person's legs. All three of these tools are interchangeable depending on the situation. But obviously, cutting and spreading metal takes a ton of force. So how does this tool manage to do it so well? Oh, it's a generator. Yeah. Uh, we can turbo that. <laughs> With this little lawnmower engine, well, kinda. This engine drives a compressor that creates pressure in the hydraulic lines. As the hydraulic fluid moves through the pressure lines in the head, the tool opens and closes. It's the same mechanical principle as most construction equipment. This handle here is what controls the movement of the tool. As you can see, it moves very slowly. This may seem counterproductive in an emergency situation when time is of the essence, but the power and precision is exactly what makes it the go-to tool for saving lives. The precision allows us to make the right cut without potentially injuring the passenger further. But we don't really have have any idea of what we're doing oh, what the heck dude and this thing is potentially super dangerous so i headed to the local fire station to get some tips and tricks on how to use this thing if you cut the pillars cut high uh, so you're above the seatbelt tensioner because oh, yeah. that can rare instances cause problems Set up here. So it turns out these things have a lot of steps to operate them safely. You need someone by the generator to hit the kill switch if anything goes wrong. You need someone by the doors to make sure they don't go flying off when you cut a hinge. You need someone surveying the whole scene to watch out for potential danger. But most importantly, you need to be sure not to stand in between the tool and the car so you don't accidentally get pinned by the jaws. You always want to have your body outside of your working area so it'll never have you between the tool because if you start turning and then they will start bending and pulling, you don't want to get pinched. Yeah. A lot of times you just have to reach position because wherever the tool is going the tool is going yeah you're not gonna yeah, win so before we jump straight into saving lives i wanted to try it out on something that's easy to cut so we grabbed a door and got to cutting and spreading on that let's cut through some doors all right up all right <laughs> give me your arm Hell yeah. Dude, that's so sick. Water, dude. Sick! 
Oh, these are gonna be great to have around the shop. <laughs> Fire me up! Fred! Fred! Roar! Safe to say that works. This thing is cool, but honestly, it seems pretty inconvenient. I mean, other cutting tools could do just as good of a job, right? Now this thing is gnarly. It cuts right through metal by using 10,000 pounds of pressure provided by hydraulic fluid. Today, we're gonna see just how good it is by comparing it to tools we had lying around the shop. A sawzall, a cutting wheel, and a cutting torch. Thought we could start with something a little bit smaller just to get our bearings. Let's give it the beans. Nolan, are you ready? Yeah, this is so scientific. Whoa, uh, that's art, dude. Pretty sick. Dude, that's sick. And now the cutting wheel. This is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we've got an oxyacetylene torch. Like butter. So clearly these are all really good at cutting, but are these tools actually dangerous in a life-saving scenario? I'm sorry, Nolan. Imperial get any beans? Doesn't look like no, it. No, it's sprayed all on me, Justin. <laughs> Let's talk about what makes the Jaws of Life such a special tool for saving lives. First, it's precise. Making the right cut once is essential when a life is at stake, which brings us to number two, time. When in the right hands, the Jaws of Life can help safely remove a passenger in under two minutes. And finally, even though it's heavy, it's pretty portable. This thing fits on the fire truck and is easily removable when it comes time to help in a roadside emergency. And more modern Jaws of Life are actually battery powered, making them even faster and more portable. But ultimately, what makes this thing so special is it doesn't create sparks. This control system keeps the crash passenger safe because there's no spark to potentially ignite any gas that has been spilled by a crushed tank or a busted fuel line. So we've set up a simulated emergency situation. Picture this. Nolan Jr. spins out on the highway and flips his dad's awesome brand new 1996 Buick Regal. He's trapped inside. The doors are smashed shut and the fuel line busted and gas is spilled everywhere. Our firefighting team has to cut the B and C pillars in order to safely remove Nolan Jr. and his passengers. Let's see how these other cutting tools fare in a real emergency. Don't worry, Nolan, I'm coming to save you. I think you've killed him. I can keep going. The Sawzall was portable and quick, but it wasn't very precise because it cut into Nolan Jr.'s head. And on top of that, it shed some sparks, which could have sent the whole Buick up in flames. All right, so obviously the Sawzall is not the correct uh, tool for this job. Oh yeah. The grinder was also very portable, but it wasn't particularly fast and it couldn't make it through the whole pillar. Obviously, it sent sparks everywhere. Not very safe for the passenger. It's not maneuverable enough to, to navigate the tight spots. So yeah, not, not good. The acetylene torch wasn't particularly portable and sure it was quick, but if the car blows up, you're essentially toting around another explosion waiting to happen. Okay. Oh God, no one. And well, it also burned right through Nolan Jr.'s skull. So that's not gonna work. He's gonna have a little bit of trouble doing math from here on out. Okay, so quick review. We saw sparks, fire, and brain damage. And they weren't even that fast. So let's see what the actual firefighters tool, the Jaws of Life, and see how fast it actually is and safe. Get our new passenger out, Nolan Jr., 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 Jr. Just like that, we've got the pillar out of the way. And no one junior, 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 is safe to pull out. But there's still one more thing left to do. All right, Noel, I'm here with you, man. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. Give me my sawzall and my beans. Terrible. 
<laughs> yeah, cut the doors off and the roof off. All right, who wants to go for a ride? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> If you like watching us play with expensive tools, check out our $50,000 laser rush removal video. If you like this shirt, check out DonutMedia.com and get you one. Y'all have a good one. You know kids, we've talked a lot about safety in today's video and step number one to safety is being seen. I don't feel very seen in this shirt covered in beans. That's why we made this new Donut High Viz t-shirt. It's available now on DonutMedia.com. Very bright and fluorescent. And also the text is reflective at night. And then you know what? I feel safer already. Get your High Viz shirt today at DonutMedia.com. I've never felt more seen. Okay. Oh, God, no one. Oh, buddy. I'm sorry, bud. You're going to think a little bit different from here on out, I think.